Hey guys, it's Daisy. I hope you're excited for a new DIY project using all Dollar Tree items. For this project, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, you're either gonna want burlap ribbon or twine, a cutting board, and some decal stickers. All of these, with the exception, of course, of the glue gun and the scissors were purchased at Dollar Tree. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the wrapping from the actual cutting board. Now I love that the cutting board is white so that it could be very neutral. And if you want to paint the edges or paint any of it, you certainly can. But we're gonna keep this as cute and as simple as possible. So what I go ahead and start off doing, as you can see, is I'm cutting out the different words. That is so that I can see how I can place them on my board and um, to decide what all will look good or if only, you know, if I wanna use just one or all of the actual words. Um, but yeah, just take your time and cut everything up and then once all of this is cut up, like I said, I'm kind of going to get a fill for what fits, for what doesn't fit. And then at that point, I decide what I want to keep. Once you decide how you want your words to lay out, or again, if you just wanna use one, that is fine. But in my book, the more the merrier. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the decal down exactly how I want it to appear on my actual cutting board. Now, obviously the cutting board isn't going to be for actual use. This is going to be more as decor. So basically I, wanted to give my sister um, and her significant other a gift, but I didn't want to do just a basic like gift card and I didn't want to do like, um, you know, just like a envelope saying, hey, congratulations on your new home. Here's some cash, which is what I ended up doing. Um, I wanted to do something kind of fun, unique and cute and something that if she wanted to display, she could. But if she didn't want to display it, it wasn't really necessary either. But in reality, I just wanted something fun that I could be proud of and say, hey, I made this for you. So anyway, as you can see here, I'm just kind of playing around, turning it toward me and not the camera, just to kind of get a feel for how I want everything to look. I already have a thing in mind that I want to do with the twine, and I'm just really looking forward to you guys seeing the end result. But it's quite simple and anybody can do this. And like I said, this was part of my housewarming gift for her. So then I went ahead and took the twine and all I did is I wanted to give it this fun, like um, farmhouse, um, well, and it's really not farmhouse because that's not her aesthetic. That's not her style, but it's just, a homemade cute sign that she could display in her kitchen but ultimately there's no rhyme or reason you just twist the twine until you get it how you want it on the bottom of your cutting board There is absolutely no right or wrong way to do this. You simply twirl the twine around your board as many times as you'd like, twisting and turning along the way until you get it exactly how you like it. Then go ahead and cut the excess amount off, glue it, make sure not to burn yourself, and once you're done, it's as simple as turning it around and making sure that you get it to the position that makes you happy. The key thing is just honestly to make sure that it's nice and tight so that it doesn't fall apart. Now we are gonna repeat the exact same 
process. Now, the only difference is that I wanted to make it really nice and thick and th instead of it being kind of um, all over the place or a little zigzaggy or whatever you want to call it I wanted to kind of make it almost like part of the handle um, so instead I made it really really tight and I just added as much twine as I thought looked really cute and as you can see, it just kind of finishes off the look um, as it matches the bottom part so perfectly. So once you go ahead and get it nice and done and it's looking so cute, go ahead and take a look at your project and decide if you feel it needs anything else or if you're happy with it. Look how cute it is. As I'm looking at my project, I decided that I wanted to add some of the leaves that came as a part of the decal to my actual cutting board. So I was kind of playing around trying to decide how it would look good and how I would like it without ruining what I have done. Sometimes a little goes a long way and sometimes you could be extra like me. <laughs> I basically just wanted to implement a little bit of everything as I really, really like that. So as you can see here, I'm literally just kind of playing around until I get it exactly how I like it. And see, it just fills in a little bit of the gap and it just makes it look so, so cute. And honestly, you guys, you don't have to add anything but I chose to do so simply because I truly, truly wanted to incorporate as much of the decals as possible. Now, if you're more of a simplistic um, person, you can certainly just use one of the decal words. You don't have to use any of the leaves. I mean, the possibilities are quite literally endless you can do as much or as little as you want but for my project i just wanted to display it how i felt it would look cute in my own kitchen so the pictures with the lemons and the little ray done um, that i will be sharing here shortly are in my kitchen but my sister did end up displaying it she really liked it and um, she put it next to her stove and her utensils and i just think it looks so so cute so again you know when i start these craft projects i don't always know how things are going to turn out or what i'm going to go ahead and do but in this case i am so so glad that i took the initiative to add the leaves i have a silly what's the word i'm talking about obsession with leaves also you guys um you know i would probably say um if you aren't happy with the positioning of one of your decals you could see from my previous lifting of the stickers um, or the decals i should say they came up quite easily and you know if you decide that maybe you wanted to buy two decals just so that you could make sure that it turns out exactly how you want it that's perfectly fine as well again just giving you some ideas now if you are okay. not looking to do a housewarming um, type of gift and you simply want to do some inexpensive decor for your home this is an excellent plan and sorry about my phone in the background i forgot to silence it anyway as always you guys let me know if you have any questions but i just wanted to leave all of these clips in here so that you guys could see my train of thought not everything is just 100% decided on when I choose to do my DIYs. They quite literally um, flow together at the last minute. I kind of have an idea of how I want things to look, but when it's all said and done, it's just a matter of playing and deciding what goes and what doesn't. I don't know how much 
much longer I can do this well guys that concludes today's video i really truly hope you guys enjoy this super easy very inexpensive diy it is so cute i absolutely love it it looks great for any kitchen and again remember you can customize it to your liking i know my sister really appreciated it and i absolutely love it and i'm so glad i was able to do this if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye!